Hey guys, what's up? Platform Jost here, and today I am bringing you what we know and what we're theorizing for Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer killstreaks. Now, what I have here is just a whole bunch of information on Infinity Ward and what they've been doing and progressing with. Now, we don't know any killstreaks like 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, 12, whatever, like every other game. But we do know of the possibility of a game ending kill streak, and let me tell you why. Well, Infinity Ward in general usually uses these high end kill streaks like 25 kills, like everything else is. Like the highest in MW2 was, I want to say, 15 was the EMP, and then just 10 kills after that was a nuke, a game ending nuke. And for MW3, there was a MOAB where it was straight gun kills. Um, very hard if you didn't have specialist and so it was straight gun kills with very high end pretty hard to get and what happened was it killed everybody in the game it killed er every enemy in the game it let them respawn it wasn't a game ender but it made the whole screen red it made you feel like there was a nuclear explosion lingering in the background some radiation and the enemies were EMP'd for the remainder of the game and that's pretty cool and so we think that since Infinity Ward has a history with those kind of kill streaks, that we're definitely going to get something in the new Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, if you go, I don't think I can. Uh, I can't merge the gameplay now because I don't. I don't have the trailer on my PC. But if you go and watch the trailer, the very beginning, it gives you this whole dialogue and these huge missiles that are just pouring down on this one location, and the soldier and the dog are looking over a cliff, and just missiles and missiles are coming down and down. And so we think that might, you know, that could be a Hellstorm missile from Black Ops 2, or it could be this this huge thing where the military is just destroying everything. We don't know yet. It's just a theory. Um, and also a little later on in the trailer, there's destroyed buildings. This is a reveal trailer I'm talking about, not the gameplay trailer. There's just, there's destroyed buildings, debris is everywhere. It's almost like it's a post-apocalyptic Earth, but we know it's not because the uh, gameplay has recently come out. And so that theory went away. But if if you go into the Call of Duty website, the actual description of Call of Duty Ghosts, in this is the uh, first, first few words of the first sentence, it goes, 10 years after a devastating mass effect, dot, dot, dot. And that's all I wrote down, but nothing else is important. But a m devastating mass effect, huge global kind of, some kind of, it could be explosion, it could have been radiation, it could have been a poisonous gas, it could be anything. But from the reveal trailer, we almost, well we do know that there's huge missiles, devastating mass effect, like a nuke, a nuclear explosion, like an MW2 and the Moab and MW3. We know it's a huge, big, high-end thing. And so what that suggests is that it's a possibility of a mass event like the like a 25 or a 30 kill kill streak possibly game ending in the new Call of Duty Ghosts and missiles being the mass effect from you know the trailer I've said that a bunch of times but what we've researched is that there's an actual in the trailer they say it very subtly but in real life there's a thing it's called the kinetic mass orbital device otherwise known as the K-Mod and it's an actual prototype, it's not out there yet, otherwise we would be dominating in a bad way. <laughs> but it's a prototype, sort of satellite. And what it'll do, it orbits around Earth, and it has a tar laser targeting system, and it's got these... Just imagine a regular satellite with just, like, a pod, and then two big, like, um... God, sun rays or whatever? Fucking sun absorbers. And... What it does, it's just imagine the end of it, and there's just these mounts of missiles like you've never seen before. And it's actually just being discussed today by NATO, which is, you know, what, where all the countries get together and they talk about whatever they want to talk about. Anyway, that's been a, the most of the theories with Call of Duty Ghosts, but hopefully we'll see in the future gameplay what kind of kill streaks, and hopefully there's a game ending, because Infinity Ward really delivers on those kill streaks. Um. MW3 really wasn't my game. I really didn't like it that much. But you know what? They're they're pretty good overall. So we're looking forward to it. And I hope you guys stay tuned. I'll give you 
some more news whenever I can find it. So subscribe if you want to see more. And all right, guys, leave a like and a comment if you want to see anything else. All right, peace, guys.